Hello, this is Sean from Blade Mate Lawn Care. So today's one is a little bit different to what I usually do. Basically it's just a vlog uh, outlining my usual work day because I've had a few questions about how I operate during winter. Just noting that you know, people around the world often have uh, snow and this out and the other. So this is probably more of an insight as to how um, a lawn care business might work um, in a more temperate, uh, temperate climate, such as where I live in the Hunter Valley in Australia. So, yeah, it's more or less business as usual for myself. Um, the key difference is I usually just spread a what would be a weekly or a fortnightly mow um, that becomes a three weekly or a monthly mow. So, this one is three weekly. The last time I was at this house was three weeks earlier. And as you can see, the grass hasn't really grown a great deal. Um, this is a cooch lawn, and yeah, most varieties go a little bit dormant in the wintertime, and this is obviously no different. So uh, with that in mind, it's still important to come around and mow regularly um, for a couple of reasons. It's good weed control, and it's still, I find that the edges still get very scruffy, and you just get little long bits popping up, and you know, you can always see if a lawn's been mowed regularly or not so I do um, try and stick to that three to four weekly schedule even during the, the cooler months so yeah this one's a bit of an abridged uh, day I don't I don't show everything I did all day um, I cut bits out from the video just for ease of viewing and of course you know I was, I was on the clock so I couldn't be fluffing around with my camera all day long um, it's also an opportunity to showcase a new mower that I have I want to say new it's a very old mower, however, it is already, I don't want to say it's my favourite, but it might just be my new favourite. I've got my hands on a Victor Professional 505, and they are very, very hard to come by. cousin to the Victor Pro 550 that you've seen me use in other videos. Um, that's the one, it's like a blue colour. I've got another one that's grey and they're the ones that just go through anything. You've seen me take down six foot grass and weeds with them with a side discharge. Um, Self-propelled of course. Uh, this mower has the same engine, the same self-propelled, everything on it's similar except that it has a catcher. So for that reason I can use it in my daily mowing, noting that in this area, um, catching is a preference by clients. Just on that note, you will notice, it looks like a little bit of side discharge action happening with this mower. That's just, I notice that the catcher um, needs a little bit of a repair. The mesh part in, inside it, it's just not quite fixed properly. Um, yeah, that's alright, that's something I'll get to, but just keep in mind I'm well aware <laughs> that it's blowing a bit of grass outside, however it still catches about three quarters of everything that goes in it. Um, so with this particular mower, it was not working very well when I picked it up a few days ago. And for those of you who have not yet visited my new channel, it's called The Australian Restorer, and you'll see me basically get this thing up and running. In preparation for today this is my first proper test run with it um, and like I said the intent is to make this a regular mower um, you know, I'll probably use this more than my Massport and my Rover in, in fact this is probably more tailor-made to go through the really really long stuff that you see me cutting with the Rover 
um, noting that it is a two-stroke engine it'll just never stop um, it's got a massive catcher on it and frankly I'm already in love so you may be wondering where my offsider William is uh, well he lives in the greater Sydney area so a little bit down south and they are presently locked down due to COVID stuff fortunately for me and businesses around where I live we are not under those restrictions just noting that we don't have any cases here um, still got to wear masks and all that so working by myself this week just until Will gets released and yeah he'll be back next week hopefully in other news I have very very good news I've made the first deposit from the charity cleanup job that we did when I pledged all the revenue from that video if you don't know the one I'm talking about I'll leave the link in the description um, but the background to that one is every dollar or every cent earned in YouTube revenue um, on that video for as long as it is live um, is being donated to the Peter McCallum Cancer Centre that's a Cancer Research Institute here in Australia and fortunately I was able to raise $786 in the first month um, I want to say the first month so that's from when I uploaded it which was mid uh, June um, up until the 30th of June in other news, after many, many requests, I have finally worked out how to get t-shirts. So a few people have already got one. Um, I'll leave the link to those in the description. So the t-shirt's just the same as the one that I'm wearing in this video right now. Um, the only difference is the updated logo itself. So that's just the, the Blades of Grass logo on it. I, I have a new one now. And yeah, it's pretty much the exact same as the one that I'm wearing, uh, minus the uh, information on the back. I did want to add hats and stubby coolers and that sort of stuff, but I just couldn't figure it out. Guys, like it's just, I don't know, you'd think it'd be a simple process. You'd think there'd be one online merch store where they just have everything and you can design it as you want. But the one that did have everything, it's really, really temperamental and difficult to make the design work. So I had to kind of settle for getting a design that was suitable. Um, however, in, in doing so, they don't have all the other stuff that all you know all the other merch that people have kind of request so i don't make a lot of money from it um oh, i think the shirt costs what 25 dollars us and of that i see about seven dollars so yeah i'm not i'm not too fast about making money on that it was just more because i had a few requests uh, from you guys who wanted wanted some merch and i'm more than happy to assist there where i can so make sure you check that one out again i'll put that link in the description I also have an update from a recent video I did where I did promise to do a part two. I had a, it was a really over around front yard. Um, unfortunately, well it's not really unfortunate I suppose, but um, I won't be able to film that one because somebody else went ahead and mowed it. Yeah, I got a message from a client saying that his uncle came around and actually mowed that backyard and that was literally the day before I was planning to go around and do that yard so I missed out on that one uh, so what does this mean it means that I just got to keep my ear to the ground um, I am actively searching for you know the fun yards that I like to do the upgrown ones and as you know I, I like to reach out in my neighborhood and, and my community and, and help people out and, and find overgrown yards um, I've knocked on several doors left my card but you know well, I can only uh, play the cards that are dealt to me and if no one calls me back or if no one's interested I can't get a video for you guys, so I am trying. Um, yeah, so don't, don't think that I'm just not doing that, because I definitely am. Um, for those who don't know what I'm talking about, I have uh, Patreon, and the subscribers to that uh, help me take a little bit of time out of my schedule to go ahead and do these sort of community engagement activities. Um, and yeah, I am trying, and as they pop up, I do work. And yeah, it's just been a bit of a slow couple of weeks, I suppose, but... Like I said, I'll keep my ear to the ground and hopefully get a new big clean-up video out to you as, as soon as I can.
it's safe to say that this old girl is more than up to the task of being a regular workhorse. Didn't miss a single beat today. I don't even know how old it is. It potentially built in the 90s, maybe 80s. Definitely wasn't built this century. Well, that's that. There was only three jobs today, so it wasn't too bad. This video is just, like I said, more to showcase my new mower, which I am very happy with. All right, guys, until next time, see you later.